Hey what's up guys, this is 5 reasons why I don't think you should buy the DJI Mini 2. Right then, so the first reason why I don't think you should pick up the DJI Mini 2, and arguably probably the biggest reason why I don't think you should, is that there's no sensors on this drone at all. That means that there's no sensors anywhere, so on the bottom, on the top, on the front, side, back, everywhere, there's no sensors on it, which basically means if you go near a building, a tree, or a lamppost, or anything like that, the drone won't know, and it will just go straight into it, which means you can probably crash into it and break, or crash into a tree, and it will get stuck up there which means you could literally get this drone on the first day fly around while you're trying to practice it and then you could without knowing crash into a lamppost or crash into a tree and you could just get stuck up in the tree now comparing that to the more expensive dji drones such as the dji air s2 now they have uh, sensors on them but obviously because this is a more budget friendly beginner drone they haven't put the sensors on so if you are flying around and you do crash into a lamppost and it does actually break then you've had the drone for what one day and it's already broken so 550 pound down the drain unless you by the DJI Care Refresh, but then that's another extra cost on top of the drone as it is. Now I expect sensors all over a drone that costs what four grand. Even though coming in at five hundred fifty pound, that's still really expensive. But I would still expect like maybe a sensor on the back or a sensor on the front or anywhere, just a few around. Maybe not everywhere, but even on the front, for example, just in case you do end up flying into a tree, it can just stop itself. Because you spend five hundred fifty pound on a drone and then you crash it on the first day because there's no sensors to stop it. Obviously you can do a better job of flying and make sure you don't go near any trees and stuff like that but sometimes you can't avoid that so i would expect having at least one sensor on this drone and that's one reason why i think you should maybe skip this and just put that money towards a more expensive drone that does have sensors and also then reason number two why i don't actually think you should buy this drone and probably the most annoying reason as well is that to be able to actually see where you're going and flying and setting up your composition you need to have the DJI Fly app. And obviously because you need the app, you're gonna to need to use your phone to use it. So you can't use this drone without your phone. And I'm pretty sure that's the same with like the DJI Air S2. It's only the really, really expensive ones where it has a different remote and it's got a built-in screen with it. And if you've got like a four-year-old phone like me, where the battery life's absolutely crap, then you can't use the drone. Nothing's worse than turning up to a location, ready to fly your drone, getting really excited, and then you look at your phone and you're on 10%. It's honestly the worst feeling ever. It happened to me not long ago, and I literally got all the way there and I realized, well, I can't fly my drone. I don't want to send my drone up there and then suddenly my phone goes out of charge. Obviously, because you need the phone screen to see where you're going. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I'm shooting. I don't know what I'm doing with it. The fact that you need a fully charged phone at all times, I'd say is really annoying because it does actually stop you from using this drone. Right now, Reason number three, and I mentioned this in the last video, is that it actually doesn't shoot D-Log. Now D-Log is just DJI's version of Log. And Log basically captures all the information in the highlights and the shadows, and it creates a more of a flat image this way so if you overexpose or underexpose an image it doesn't crush the shadows and it doesn't blow out the highlights so when you go back to color grading it you can recover the highlights way more and recover the shadows as well so it just makes it for a more easier and better experience when you do color grade but because the DJI Mini 2 doesn't have D-Log it makes it a lot harder to actually color correct and color grade the footage even if you do shoot in pro mode and expose the frame uh, perfectly it does actually still kind of make it a little bit harder to color grade it because it's not a flat image Right, reason number four is probably not a reason not to buy it. It's just a very annoying thing that you probably have to do. So DJI Mini 2 is coming in at about £420. But basically, in my opinion anyway, I don't think you can buy this drone just at £420. I think you have to buy the Pro Combo Edition. And I think the reason why the battery life on one battery on this drone is about half an hour, 20 minutes to 25 minutes before the, the actual app tells you to start flying back. Uh, which is really good for a drone this size and light. It's actually super good considering the higher drones like I've only just got up to about 45 minutes of battery life. So this is actually really good for one battery. But the problem is, if you're up there and you're not sure either what to shoot or something, or if you want to get one more shot and you have to come back, when you come back, well, that's it. You can't use a drone anymore because you've only got one battery. But with the Fly More Combo Edition, you get two extra batteries and a battery charger. So you have about an hour and a half's worth of battery life with this drone which just makes everything so much better and it's way more worth the money. Now you could just say, why well, don't I just buy the drone on its own and then buy the battery separately. Well, when I first bought this, I'm pretty sure the batteries sold separately were about 70 pound. You can actually buy them now for about 50 pound, which is not too bad. But if you want to buy two batteries anyway, well, that's 100 pounds. If you want to buy the battery charger, then that's 40 pounds and that's 140 pound. But the Fly More Combo Edition is 550 pounds. So if this is £420, then it's £130 more for the Fly Combo Edition, 
and just for this here for the two batteries and the charger it's 140 pounds and that's already 10 pound more than the fly combo edition if you was to get these separately after and then you also get the dji bag as well so i don't use this but you might and you might really like it because you can fit everything in here so you might not want the bag but it's still nice to have just in case you only ever want to take the drone out so i just think in my opinion you should just buy the pro combo edition because you'll get out there with your new dji mini 2 you'll fly it around for 20 minutes half an hour and then you can't use it again until you come home and charge the battery and obviously that's not happened to me because i bought the fly combo edition straight away but i'm pretty sure if you want to fly your brand new drone on the first day you're probably going to want to fly it and learn it for longer than 20 to 30 minutes especially when you need to learn how to fly it and all the different settings and stuff like that you're going to want to use it for a longer time so before you know it you'll be buying extra batteries anyway so i think you should just save the time and just buy the pro combo edition to be honest so right so reason number five and i'm actually struggling to think of more reasons why you shouldn't buy this drone because it's absolutely amazing if i had to think of a fifth reason why you shouldn't buy this drone is that it doesn't have a variable aperture it just has a fixed aperture of 2.8 which means you can't change the exposure of the aperture and you also obviously can't go higher than f 2.8 the majority of the time and the majority of the people that are going to be having this drone is probably taking photos and videos of landscapes and if you're a landscape photographer then you shoot on a tripod because you want to try and up the f-stop as much as possible to like f18 or something to capture everything in focus well because this has a fixed aperture of f2.8 and obviously not everything's going to be in focus and that's the whole point really of taking landscape photos just to get everything in focus so if you're buying this drone for landscape photography or landscape videos which is probably what most people are going to buy this drone for then just know that not everything's going to be in focus because it's only at f2.8 and you can't make it any higher the f2.8 fixed aperture really doesn't bother me too much you can still get really good image quality but if you really really want everything in focus and you're really bothered about that then obviously that's a reason not to buy the dji mini 2 it's really hard for me to think of any more reasons to be honest and that actually does show how good Good the DJI Mini 2 is because in my other video I could think of way more reasons than five reasons to pick this thing up. So if you are interested in this drone, even after them five reasons why I think you shouldn't pick this thing up, then I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to go pick it up. But that's it for me. That's five reasons why I don't think you should pick up the DJI Mini 2. And if you wanted to check the other video of five reasons why I think you should buy the DJI Mini 2, then I'll leave it linked here and you can go check that out and see why I think this drone is absolutely amazing for beginners. If you did enjoy, hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. I'll see you later.